Welcome to this tutorial on 8085 programming. Today we are going to talk about some arithmetic operation. We want to study the add operation of the 8085. This is the statement of our problem. Two data bytes are stored in consecutive memory locations say 2000 hex and 2001 hex. Write a program to add the two bytes and store the result in 2002 in hex. Also study the flags. Now we are going to use this simulator to perform this task. We are told that two numbers are stored in 200 and 2001. We have to add them and place the result in 2002. So let us take two numbers, say for example 23 hex and 47 hex. Note that these two numbers are hexadecimal numbers. They are not decimal numbers, they are hexadecimal numbers. And now we need to write a program which will add these two numbers and put the result in 2002. At the same time, we need to study what is the impact of the arithmetic operation on the flags. So let us attempt and write a program. Our first task is to get the first number into register the second number into the register, add them and place back the result. So you would like to write down the program. We have LDA load the accumulator with 2000 hex. Move B comma A. LDA 2001 hex. So now this instruction will bring the first byte into the processor. This instruction will move it to register B so that we can bring the second byte. This instruction will bring the second byte in the processor and then now our task is to add the two bytes. So we write down add B. The result of addition is stored in register A. When you add two numbers, the A register will take a new value which is the sum of the two numbers. Now this result we want to store back into the memory at 2002. So we will write down STA2002 and then we can halt. So this completes our program. A small program of five lines which enables us to add the two numbers in memory and place back the result in the memory. Now let us compile this program. The code is compiled successfully. Let us run it in the step mode. So first instruction is executed LDA2000 and we have 23 in register A. So this value has come over here. Then move the content of A to B. So A is copied in B. Then load the next number in B regis A register. So you have 47 in A register. Now add these two numbers. When you add these two numbers, the hexadecimal addition takes place and the result is 6A. 6A is the result and we want to store back the result in memory in this particular memory location. So when we execute the STA instruction, the data from register A will come over here. So 6A has come over here. So that performs the addition operation. One of the important tasks to learn during the arithmetic and logical operations is to study the flags. What impact it has created on the flags. So when we have performed the addition of two numbers, 2, 3 and 4, 7 hex, then it has resulted in 
the flag values like this the carry flag is 0 you can see that there is no carry the parity flag is 1 indicating that the parity is even 6a 6a has got 4 ones and therefore the parity is 1 the auxiliary carry is 0 there is no auxiliary carry occurring in this program the zero flag is zero since the accumulator is not zero after arithmetic operation so it is zero and the sign flag is also zero now let us take another set of numbers and try to make some impact on the carry flag so i'll take a number say for example c3 in 2000 and now we'll try to operate this program so what we do we write down c3 and 47 and we want to add these two numbers and see the result so c3 comes in a c3 has gone in b 47 comes in a you have added the two numbers the result is 0 a you can see the result as 0a over here you place this result in the respective memory location that is 2002 now here as we intended the carry flag has become 1 the parity is once again even there is no auxiliary carry no 0 no sign now let us take a third example where we will be interested in generating a auxiliary carry so we write down 4 and then a suppose 4a plus 4 7 run this program now we don't need to run it in step mode the result is 9 1 that has come over here and now you can see here that there is a auxiliary carry a plus 7 that will give you 1 1 so 1 is placed over here uh, in the lower order nibble and there is an auxiliary carry which is added to the higher order nibble since the msb has become one that is copied into the sign flag so sign has also become one now let us take an example where the zero flag is affected so the simplest example is make this value zero one and make this value ff so when you add one to ff the accumulator will become zero let us run this program when you add one to ff the accumulator has become zero you can see that the sum of the two numbers is zero there is a carry parity is even auxiliary carry is one and zero is also one right so since the accumulator has become zero on the arithmetic operation you find that the zero flag is set so by these few examples we have learned the addition operation thank you for listening to this tutorial